Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of integer operations. This is standard 6.3D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 33 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Luann is playing a math game and she chooses three cars, and her cards are the negative 12, 3, and negative 5. So we simply have to find the sum of the values of her three cards. So sum means to add. So let's see if we can just set it up like this. We've got negative 12 plus, because that is what sum means, 3 plus negative 5. And then we need to figure out what that equals, and that's going to go in the free response in the bubbles. Now, you notice what I did right here is I had a plus and, an, and a minus, or a plus and a negative, right next to each other. So I had to put that parentheses in between, because if not, it would look kind of weird if you said plus minus 5. So you always use the parentheses to kind of separate the two so that you don't get them mixed up. And what we need to know is that when we have a positive and a negative, or a negative and a positive, doesn't matter the order, you're always going to get a negative. If you get two positives, or if you get two negatives, you're always going to get a negative. So that's something that we need to, excuse me, you're going to get a positive, and that's something we always need to keep in mind here. And so we have this minus 12, so I'm just going to keep this as negative 12. We can actually kind of drop the parentheses since we don't have any number or any operation in front of that. Plus 3 is going to be fine. And so plus negative 5. Let's see if we can simplify that, make that a little bit easier. Plus negative 5, well that is a positive and a negative. Remember positive and a negative always results in a negative, so plus negative is the same as subtracting. So that's something interesting. So we've got negative 12 plus 3 minus 5. Well, this is going to be kind of confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little number line here. And let's see if this can help us here. Uh, so I'm going to start with negative 12. So I'm going to start with 0 right here. And I'm just going to say this is 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to make that negative 5. And that's negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9. Make yourself a little number line here. So I'm going to make this negative 15. I think I might need to go all the way to, you know, that should be pretty good. If I can, if I need to extend it into the positive, I can. So let's start with negative 12 right here. So we're going to go first from 0, and we're going to go all the way over here to negative 12. So let's mark that right there. So there's my negative 12, and all I need to do now is I need to add 3. That's our next operation here. Remember when we subtract, we are going to the left. When we add, we are going to the right. So we're going to jump 3 times. 1, 2, 3. So now I ended up here at negative 9. And so now I need to subtract 5. So that's going to be next. So that's going to go back to the left. And so we'll start at negative 9. We'll just jump 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. And where did we end up? We ended up right here at negative 14. So that's going to be my answer is negative 14. Now the way we could have done that is, is if we wanted to, we could have said negative 12 minus 5. So bring the two negatives together. When you have a negative minus something, that kind of acts as positive. So that would have been like you're adding, it would have been like negative 17 there. And then if we would have added 3, that would have been like subtracting because it's the inverse. So that would have been negative 14. But that is our answer. Now we need to put it into our free response grid. So you're going to have two decimal places, and you're going to have four whole numbers and a plus minus there. So there's my decimal. So I'm going to put 14 right here because that's my ones place, that's my tens place. I'm going to bubble in that negative right there. And that's all we need to do. You don't need any other zeros. Just find the 1, bubble that in, find the 4, and bubble that in. 